up the morning laddies, my name is Chaz and welcome to the custom card, or actually five custom cards that I will choose. Five of them. So the number five will be from this archetype that I will, will choose will have to be the this one darkness blade disappointment and it's a trap card with like or counter trap so if this card is this card can only be activated if your opponent activates a card effect. You can select one card from... Or select one Darkness Blade monster from anywhere. Special summon it to your field. In attack mode. If it does, then negate the card effect. And... Instead, and shuffle it into the owner's deck. And if it does, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shovel this card into the deck, inflict 200 damage to your opponent's life points. So, the yeah, reason why it's at number five is because of. If your opponent plays a lot of spells and traps and monster effects, you can activate that. But you got a big body on the field. Like you got. Because it says special summon. So most of these cards like need to be normal summon, like this card. So, but except for this one, and because this one allows you to add four equipped spell cards to it, so yeah, so basically, yeah. So my number three, or no, actually number four, would have to be the Cursed Blade of Darkness. The reason why it's at number four is because you can, you, it's basically a, like, Draining your monsters, like making your monsters weaker. It's basically like a it gives you like or it gives your or it gives your equip monster two thousand attack before. But during either player's end phase. The equipped monster loses 1,000 attack points. If this card resolves the to zero, destroy it, and then you draw two cards from the top of your deck to your hand. So, yeah, basically this card is is pretty balanced with this archetype because the some of you, you people that are on like dueling book you say the oh the the basically my archetype is too powerful or too broken 
But this one is, to me, pretty balanced because as it also, when it's in the graveyard, you can shuffle it into the deck and special summon one darkness blade answer from your deck or hand to the field in attack mode. But it cannot attack until the end of your third turn. So basically, if you like special summon something that like this one, you really don't need to well, like attack. So yeah. So, plus it gives 2,000 to your, to any of your Dark Blade monsters. And it also, like over time, the, it drains like a energy of your monster. So that, yeah. So if you had her on the field and you activated her effect to add that, she gains the, that major power boost thing of three, 37, or 300, no, 3,700. And, and 3,400. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, plus this card. And also inflicts damage to your opponent's life points. <laughs> Things. And plus, as the each one, like this one, will turn it into like pretty overpowered one. So yeah. You can, but my number three will have to be actually two cards. The Dark Blade Dragon Kiss and Child of the Dark Blade. Because to me, it felt like it was illegal to not have a ritual spell with a ritual monster in the same column. So, yeah. So, the dragon's kiss and brings out the Dragon Blades in Ritual Monster by using material from your deck or hand to the graveyard. Earn. And then if you do draw two cards from the top of your deck. Yeah, plus this card uh, might not see play against... If you guys want me to... New duel that here. Let me delete that. Hold on. If you guys want me to do the duel him in the in his video, 
give him both of us or actually give this or her if this video gets one or more likes then it will do it so yeah so then the yeah between so let's move on so this card basically does a lot like shuffle it into your, into your deck look into your opponent's deck to be select one card if you do send then send it to the graveyard so then the kind of the darkness blade <laughs> she only needs was that to ritual summon her if she was special summoned summoned you can select one card from your deck or reared add it to your hand if you do then inflict damage or 200 damage to your her opponent's side points for each level this card has so it would be two o cards 12 plus 12 equals 24 yeah to your opponent's side points if this card inflicts damage to your opponent's side points can roll the dice. Activate one of these following effects. One or two. Discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Three or four. Discard attack again. Five or higher. Reroll. And then if this card is like it has a graveyard effect that you can shovel this card into the deck, special summon the ritual material from anywhere to your field and attack mode. But their attack points become double the attack points. And if you do, skip your battle phase for the next turn. So yeah, or until the bat next turn. So number two will have to be actually for the different arm, right? This one. Because I made it. Then. Then. Because. Yeah. If this card is activated, you can select. One Alakoa Hokos card from your deck or graveyard, add it to your hand. If it does, special summon three monster, er, three soul tokens. Level four attack, 1700 attack, 1600 defense, or 1600 defense. Attribute dark to your field in attack mode. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle this card into the deck. Draw a card from the top of your deck until you have six cards in your hand. So basically, yeah. So you can use the tokens to go into link no <laughs> it's for yeah so yeah that's number did five four three and now this is two number one 
will be my the whole archetype evolve around this specific spell card. Hern. So the yeah. This spell card needs to be on the field for most of the sellers or no seal of darkness as monsters like this like these cards that have like if you have it on a field they you can reveal them from their hand from your hand to be special summoned so you oh yeah except for the ones that are support Dean <laughs> Like a mask, one has of slime. Once it's normal summon, you can tribute it from your field, activate one of this, and like you can use, like, then you start your summoning stuff. Like, you can summon this. Take your opponent's card. Theme. Theme. Here. I'm just going to show this real quick. So, if your opponent had, here. Like. And. Was. Where is it? Where is it? Here, here's some gameplay footage. Sorry, my phone's acting weird. Yeah. Here, so, yeah. This stuff. Hold on. Actually. This is the some of the gameplay footage before. So because I had Seal of Darkness and this card and like I probably would have drawn it and I would have taken that card, or I did, but the, give me a moment to, yeah, so it gains the that card's effects, and plus, As the the it's pretty powerful broken because with certain cards like this one you're basically wiping out the entire board this one Taking the monster from the graveyard to be added to your hand. Or to your... To be equipped. And then the... Yeah. Like, certain monsters... 
Like, what you saw this cannon. And then, basically, you can... And... Shuffle, like... You can special summon it. And you can inflict damage. So you basically get... Like, 200. <laughs> and, and, yeah. Plus, you, you also saw a trap card thing. Plus, it's like a hand trap. This card can be like a hand trap. So, yeah. And then the, yeah, skip your opponent's main phase one, and the, some of these cards earn, that have, like, skipping cost, basically... <sighs> so, if this card is activated, or some of these cards have, like, doesn't have that restriction, it can, but this card is pretty overpowered. Now, basically, you can search a field spell, activate it instead, and if it does, skip your opponent's battle phase. So, if you had this card, if I played this card and the that one. In the same turn, 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 then the both like turns, like I think it was this one or this one. Yeah, this one. It would just skip to your opponent's next battle phase and their main phase. Yeah. So they... Yeah, but if you had, like, times... Something... So, those are my five cards that I choose. So, yeah. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and everything. So, if, <laughs> if this video gets one like or more, then I'll do him with my darkness blade archetype I have a card that's specifically made for him I will not show it because that will spoil it <laughs> and you're probably all thinking like oh what yeah so basically Go over to his channel and say, post that video of when me and him first dueled. Um, so, bye-bye now. Catch you guys, girls, laters.
and or maybe a little bit like bye bye